All right, man. First of all, I actually like this video from you. Probably about the best video you've ever done. You spoke your piece in this video, and I think you spoke pretty well this time. But I can tell you had some crib notes. Okay? I don't need notes to speak my piece. Now, I wouldn't make a crack at your family because your family are those people who truly love you. So that, that was wrong. If you believe... Fucking camera. If you believe that I made a crack at your family, then I apologize for that. Only a real man with real balls apologizes when he says something wrong. So I'll let that part go. Now, big man, which I wasn't making fun of your weight. I'm not too damn skinny either. First of all, I'm going to say what I like about you. I like the fact that you try to use your voice. Somebody must have told you that you're pretty smooth. But you need practice. I won't go into that because if I tell you how to do it, then you wouldn't need me anymore. Wait, you can probably say you don't need me anymore. Anyway, so you continue to listen to Jim Rome, and that's how you get your rants out. But that's on you. So let me go again to tell you what I'm here for. I'm here to ask you to do one thing, and that's to be positive every single time you speak. But hey, like you say, you're not a fucking robot. Nobody would program a robot so fucking stupidly. Now, you said something about the troops not fighting for us, they're fighting for oil. I truly agree with you. I agree with you 115% about fighting for the next people. Not the Saudi family, the Bush family, the Cheney family, the American oil barons who want to branch out. Huh. Now, in saying that, I want you to understand this, kid. You probably know no more than three years younger than me, four years younger than me. You mentioned Vietnam. and You've mentioned every time that we've went to war with somebody, there's been a lie. We have all been lied to. Every single one of us has been lied to to the point that there is no return. When you lie to American people, American people choose to believe the lie. I am not one of those persons that believe in any of the bullshit that my country has been teaching me or has told me for the last 40 years. Everything we've ever been taught, everything that we believe is the truth is a lie. Yes, 75% of the shit that you think is real is fake. How can I prove this to you? America advertises before every event. Now, what do I mean? Just recently I heard on the news, which you told me I shouldn't be listening to the news and the newspapers is all bullshit. These people said on the news that it's undeniable. We have to go in Iraq, I mean Iran, to change the situation in the Middle East. There's no way that America could not go in Iran. What is the purpose for Iran? What is the purpose for Iraq? And what is the purpose for Afghanistan? It's so the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor. Are you paying five dollars yet for gas, baby? Fifty cents from it. So, when you say what you say, understand what you say is taken literally by people on the internet. This website, as you so gracefully called it. Don't nobody give a fuck about you or me. This is a known fact. But, there's probably a hell of a lot more people care about me than you. I'm not going to bash American citizens fighting. Even if they're not even fighting for America. These are our people. Your people, my people, my brothers and sisters, and your brothers and sisters, your cousins, uncles, nephews, and nieces. These are our people. Yes, they have been sent on a mission to do some fucked up shit, some wacky ass shit that has nothing to do with us. Yes. Regardless of what they're fighting for, they are still our people. Can you deny that? Can you say these men and women are no link to you? Please. 
You would be dumber than you look if you believed that. You and a whole bunch of other people on YouTube say shit you don't mean. You go through your regular life acting as if you never said the shit that you said on YouTube. Me? I always show my face, baby. I always show my face. Even in the darkness, I show my face. It is deniable. You cannot say I don't when I do. I'm sitting here, I'm looking at you. Your little face right there. I rubbed you. You felt what I said. Because you had to sit down and write a fucking reply. You gotta think before you speak to me. And that's exactly what you did. I didn't ask you for that. But you gave me exactly what I asked for. I asked for a reply from your heart and you gave it to me. Even though you had to write it down to get it across. I hate this camera. Damn, lights all fucked up. But. As far as life goes, as far as fat, skinny, big, black, white, life and death, you gave me what I baited you for. I baited you into this comment. I baited you into this video response. What is foolishness? Foolishness is the words you choose to use when you have nothing positive to say. At the beginning of this video, I told you what I liked about you. And at the end of this video, I will tell you what I dislike about you. The moral of the story will always be in the middle of my videos. And you will never ever catch the moral of the story if your brain ain't right. Apparently, when I baited you, you didn't understand what the fuck I was saying. But I liked your first reply, but I like this one better. Now... I said some harsh shit about you. I apologize. Because I'm a bigger man than you are. I actually tower over you mentally. Because physically and mentally, you're still a little boy. You may be a loner, but you are not alone. You will never be alone. Because I got a place for you. I got a real close place for you. And this place I have for you is right in here. You will never be alone. You have never been alone. And in this battle that we fight, this war for respect, dignity, and honesty, this battle of wits, so to speak, will always be won by the wiser man. Because I cannot say anything negative to you unless I say it in a positive manner. So I'm going to go ahead and try it for this last 139. You are stupid. You are stupid on several fronts for several reasons, but you are not dumb. How could you be dumb and so wise and so stupid all in one package? Where is the logic in your voice? Where is the truth and the real feeling and meaning behind the words you say? There is none. Because you practice what you preach and you practice what you say. And the real comes from within. The real comes from your heart. The real don't come from little piece of paper where you got notes. I like you. And for that, I'll probably subscribe. Because I got you right where I want you. In the palm of my black ass hand. Think about it. Like I told the Sergeant Willie Pete, I'd rather have you on my side than in my way. Because you have the power to speak. Not too many people can say anything on YouTube. And yet and still, you might cover up your body, you might only show your face, but you've got the power to speak. So speak, brother. Speak. But speak in a manner towards everybody's going to learn from you and do instead of talk. Speak about things that are positive. We all know it's shitty. So, I only got one thing to say after this point. You've been tubed.